Hello, this is a second example of how to estimate the variance for a population based on the variance for a sample. I'm going to go through this example fairly quickly, and then I'm going to show you how to do it even more quickly using Excel. And I'll give a little bit more detail on that, but I'm hoping that this will become more fluent to you as you try it. So I know that I am looking for the estimated variance uh, um, that we're going to use for our population variance in step two. I know that we can write variance as s squared, s referring to just the standard estimated standard deviation for a population. And the squared just means the variance. So this is the variance. And we know that in a nutshell, we just need to know the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. That's our whole formula right here. There are some intermediate calculations we need along the way, and we'll work through these right now. We know that we're need to, going to need to figure out the mean because the sum of squares, squared deviations, well, a deviation is, let's write that down, sum of squares refers to the sum of squared deviations and sum of squared deviations and a deviation is each individual score minus the mean. So we know we're gonna start by calculating the mean. The mean is the sum of all scores divided by N. And in this case, this is the sum of 3.3 plus 4.1 plus 5.2 plus 4.8 plus 6.0, the sum of all of those things divided by five because there are one, two, three, four, five values. If we calculate this through, we discover that uh, we, Sorry about this, let me get this out of the way for us. Um, we discover that that sum is 23.4, we have to divide by five still, which equals 4.68. This important value is our mean that we'll use in calculating the sum of squared deviations. So the sum of squared deviations, again, is just the sum of all of the deviations, which is each individual score minus this mean that we've just calculated, squared. That's all it is. So let's type this in. The first score, 3.3, let's cross it off up here, 3.3 minus our mean, 4.68. And we're going to have to square it, plus 4.1 minus 4.68. And we're going to have to square it plus 5.2 minus 4.68, we're gonna to have to square it, plus 4.8 minus 4.68, we'll need to square it, plus 6.0 minus 4.68, and we'll have to square it. Um, let's calculate these through. The next thing is to do these subtractions, calculate the differences or the deviations. Um, and so the very first deviation, 3.3 uh, minus, excuse me, 3.3 minus 4.68 is minus 1.38. We'll have to square it. Plus the next one, 4.8 minus 4.68 is minus 0 0.58 squared plus. 0 0.52 squared plus 0 0.12 squared plus 1.32 squared. If we calculate these squared deviations then, 1.3 minus 1.38 squared is 1.9044 plus the next one, 0 0.3364 plus 0 0.52 squared is 0 0.2704 plus 0 
0 0.0144 for, my, for 0 0.12 squared plus 1.32 squared, which is 1.7424. And if we sum all that together, we have the sum of squares and we find out that that is 4.268. The sum of squares 4.268 to get S squared then, or the variance, we just need to take that um, uh, sum of squares and divide by degrees of freedom. That equals 4.268 divided by degrees of freedom, five minus one, which equals four, which means that our variance is 1.067. Another way to do it that I prefer because it reduces the possibility of error is to use the spreadsheet. To use the spreadsheet, we simply type in our formulas using cell references. Once we know these formulas, they go quite quickly. Um, so the first thing we have to do is calculate our mean. We're gonna need to fill our mean in right here. So let's go ahead and do this calculation. There we go. We have the scores listed here. Remember the scores are just X values. So we first have to sum them. Let's tell Excel that we want to do a formula by typing the equal sign. We'll type the, uh, we'll type, tell it what we wanna do. In this case, we wanna sum. And now we'll tell it what we want to sum by putting an opening parenthesis. We need to sum the values in B2 through B6. I'm not going to write those, although we could. We could write B2 through B6, and we would get 23.4. If we didn't want to write those out, we could just type equals sum, and keep your eye up on the formula bar. It's a little easier. Type your opening parenthesis, and just click in the first cell that you want to highlight. Leave your cursor held down. Don't double click and drag it down to the end of the range you want to highlight. You can type the closing parenthesis or you can just hit enter and Excel will type it for you. You can see that we get the same sum. I'm going to take a moment here to fill in our N, which I happen to know is five, and our degrees of freedom, which is four and minus one. To calculate the mean, I just need to calculate the sum minus R five. So I'm gonna do it by a formula. We need equals B7. I'm going to click in that cell and divide by N, which is five. I could write five, I could write B10, or I could just click in the cell. Now we have the mean. And um, I equals B10 divided by five. And now we have the mean. Oh boy, what am I doing here? Um, what I'm trying to do is type equals the sum divided by n. Sorry about that. And now we get 4.68. Um, if you ever have that happen, you're not sure if you clicked on the right cells or referenced the right cells. If you highlight the cell of interest and then push up in the cursor, you'll see that it tells you what cells you did. So here, the blue up here indicates that I started by taking the sum and dividing by what's highlighted in pink and written up here in pink, which is the N, and I can see that now I did this right. But if you ever need to check because you did something like I did, that's the way to check. Now we have to go through and get the sum of squares. The sum of squared is just all those deviations squared and summed up. So let's start by just typing in the mean here. Um, there are different ways of copying and pasting, but for this case, let's just type it in. So here's the mean 4.68. I'm going to uh, click in it so that it has that green box around it. I'm going to hit copy and tell it where I want to copy in these four cells below the end of the range. And now I hit paste and there's our mean. If there was a formula in here and I did that, it would copy and paste the formula. So let's put one in and try it. Let's type our equal cell and let's type our score. We know it's X minus M. So there's X, we can see it written in blue, cell B2. Let's type our minus sign. And now I could type C2, or I could just click in that cell. And now I have that formula written and I'll hit enter. Minus 1.38, that looks right for the difference between those two. 
Now I'm going to click back in that cell till it has the green box around it. I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to then highlight those four cells below it and hit paste. And you'll see that it didn't copy and paste the value, it pasted the formula. And so if I click down here, for example, you can see that it took cell B5 in blue minus C5 in red. So now that formula looks good to me. Those are the deviations, but remember, we have to square the deviations. So we know that squaring something just means multiplying it by itself. So we wanna try D2. I'll just click in it so it writes D2. Now the time signal in Excel is the asterisk, which is the uppercase of the letter eight on your keyboard. There it is. And I wanna just have D2 again, so I could write D2 or click on D2 again. And I can hit enter. And there it is, there's our deviation squared. I could also do this a different way. Remember that number 1.9044 because that's the correct answer, but let's also type in a different formula, which is more typical. Let's start with D2 again, that's what we wanna square. And instead of telling it D2 times D2, we could just take the asterisk, which is the uppercase of the letter six on your keyboard, and put the asterisk two, which is the Excel formula for squaring something. And we get the same answer. You'll remember 1.9044. Click back in that cell till the green box is around it and hit copy. You could do it this way too, right clicking the menu. And now it's got that vibrating line around it. So let's tell it where we wanted to paste it by clicking those cells and hit paste. Now we have all of the squared deviations. Now we're in good shape. We know SS is the sum of squared deviations and we know that deviations squared are the squared deviations. So we need the sum of all these. So let's go in this SS for the sum of squares and let's type equals to tell it that we're gonna tell it a formula. We want it to calculate a sum. So I'll write that down, put the opening parentheses so it knows what to sum. I need to sum E2 through E6. I could write that out, E2 colon E6. And get that, or I could have highlighted those cells and it would write those in for me. We know the sum of squares is 4.268. We know that S squared just refers to the estimated variance. And so we're just going to put equals sum of squares. And we're not going to divide by n because we're estimating. We have to divide by degrees of freedom, which is written in cell B11. Um, so I could click on that, or I could just write four. And that is our variance, and that is the end of this demonstration.